Once upon a time, in the darkest part of the forest, there was a sneaky hyena named Hector. Hector was setting traps for animals smaller than him and then making fun of them. <laughs> sneaky hyena Hector found a letter while wandering in the woods. He excitedly opened the letter and saw that there was a golden paper inside. There was something written on it. Hector looked at the paper for a long time, but he didn't understand anything. Because Hector was an illiterate, bad hyena. At that moment, a baby hedgehog passing by stopped when he saw the golden paper in the hand of the hyena. Hey, hello, sir. Where did you find that letter? Huh? In the bottom of the earth or on the top of the mountain? It's none of your business. It's mine. Oh, okay. So you are going to Teacher's Day Camp too. I can't go because I don't have a teacher. At that moment, the hyena had a sneaky idea. He was going to trick the hedgehog and go to that camp and kidnap every little animal and devour them. Actually, I am a teacher, but I forgot to take my glasses with me, so I can't read the address. Will you take me to the camp, son? Hedgehog enthusiastically accepted the sneaky hyena's request, and they set out together for the teacher's day camp. Hector had a tough time when they got to camp, because wherever he looked, he saw tiny little animals that he could devour. Now in this camp, you are my teacher and I am your student, sir. All right, tiny student. Now I'm going to teach you something about time. Let me keep you busy for a long time and then feed myself. <laughs> the sneaky hyena asked the hedgehog to stay where he was until his shadow shortened. And the hedgehog listened to him and began to wait under the sun. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Hector saw a rabbit collecting wood for the campfire. To catch him, he tied a carrot to a rope and threw it in front of the rabbit. When the rabbit saw a carrot, he couldn't stand it and started to gnaw it. Here, you fell into my trap, rabbit! As the hyena pulled the rope towards himself, the rabbit was getting closer to him. But just as Hector was about to jump right on the rabbit... Teacher! Whoa! The baby hedgehog appeared before him. My shadow shortened and almost disappeared? What does that mean? Uh, that... That... That means the sun is directly overhead, son. Oh, wow! That's wonderful information! Wonderful! Thanks to the baby hedgehog, the rabbit both ate the carrot and took the wood and returned to the tent. The hungry hyena was very angry. Son, I will teach you another thing. Listen to me carefully. This time, the hyena took the baby hedgehog to a fallen tree. He asked him to count the rings on the log. The hedgehog enthusiastically accepted this and started counting the rings. But there are too many rings here. The number is endless. Uh. The sneaky hyena Hector left the hedgehog and scrambled away. Just ahead, he saw three lambs dancing and having fun. And now I'll get something delicious! <laughs> the hyena made himself look like a lamb by sticking lots of cotton pieces on himself. Thus, he mingled with the dancing lambs by bawing. Bah, 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 bah. 
A moment later, Hector approached one of them, stood up on two feet, opened his mouth wide open, and just then, teacher! The baby hedgehog appeared before him. Grrr, what? You again? Teacher, I counted the rings on the log. There are exactly 150. What does this mean? Uh, well, this... This means now you know the age of that tree. Oh, wow! That's wonderful information! Meanwhile, the lambs returning to their tents were saved from being eaten by hyena thanks to the baby hedgehog. Hyena, who was hungry again, was even more angry this time. Son, I will teach you something else. The sun is about to set. Listen to me carefully. Hyena Hector asked the hedgehog to run quickly away from the camp. He then said that he could find the campfire by following the North Star in the sky. Hedgehog set off excitedly. After a while, the sun was gone and the sky began to shine with stars. The sneaky hyena Hector was lurking behind a lawn to prey on the teacher and student animals sitting around the campfire. As soon as the fire goes out, I'll catch every pup that runs around in the dark. <laughs> as soon as the teacher bear said that it was time to sleep and put out the fire with a bucket of water, the hyena jumped on them. While the animals in the camp were running around in fear, the baby hedgehog finally found the camp with the light of the North Star. However, he was stunned by what he saw. No! He, he is not a teacher! I was deceived! The hedgehog started throwing the needles on his back at Hector so fast that he trapped him in a tiny space. The hyena, who couldn't move from where he was, cried out in a hurry. Help! Let me go! Okay, I promise I won't hurt you! I will leave the camp immediately! The hedgehog slowly approached the hyena. I shouldn't have trusted you! You're not a teacher! You're a sneaky hyena! Leave this place now! or I'll build a more dangerous cage with needles on my back. With the help of the hedgehog, the hyena got rid of the thorns and quickly ran away from the camp. That night, the teacher bear gave the little hedgehog the most valuable prize of the camp, the little teacher award. Because sometimes knowledge alone is not enough. It is necessary to use knowledge for good purposes and sometimes to crown this knowledge with courage. While three little rabbits were walking through the forest, they found a huge carrot. Wow! Look at this! I saw it first! I saw it first! This carrot is mine! I don't care! But I saw the carrot, too. While the rabbits were arguing for a long time, one of them finally came up with a great idea. Let's go to the furthest part of the forest and race up to here, then. Whoever comes first gets the carrot. But they could not decide which race they would like to do. I run very well. And I jump very well. At that time, the bad wolf, Jack, who was wandering hungry in the forest, immediately hid in the bush when he heard the sound of three little rabbits. Grr, I'm so hungry that only if I swallowed those three rabbits at the same time, I'd be full. Okay, forest running race first. As soon as bad wolf learned that the rabbits were going to be competing for carrots, 
he went ahead and dug a deep hole in the running path. He also covered it with leaves. No rabbit can escape from my traps. Ha 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 ha! A little later, the three rabbits started a running race. Each of them rushed past each other. It was not clear who was ahead and who was behind. The big bad wolf Jack, who saw the rabbits running towards the trap, was watching them curiously. All three of you will fall into that pit! <laughs> But the rabbits passed over the trap so fast that they left a huge cloud of dust behind them. The wolf who came and looked at the trap was very surprised because the trap was still intact. Huh? Why didn't the rabbits fall into my trap? Jack took one jump on the leaves to control the trap, two jumps, and the third time he fell into the pit himself. Uh, no way! I fell into my own trap. Uh. While the wolf was trying to get out of the pit, the three little rabbits raced to jump the furthest. Remember, we will jump by following the direction signs to the carrot. Just as the race was about to begin, the second rabbit got a thorn in her foot. Oh! But I can't jump with that thorn. Oh! While her rabbit friends helped her, the evil wolf Jack changed the direction signs for the carrot. <laughs> Jump into the swamp and I'll eat you up with great appetite, you little cute rabbits! Jack set out for the swamp before the rabbits. Meanwhile, the second rabbit finally got rid of the thorn in her foot, and the jumping race began. Each of them was jumping further from each other, following the direction signs. After a while, they came to a crossroads. There were carrot direction signs on both sides, and they were very confused. Are we going to go left or right? I guess left. No, no, right. The rabbits decided to continue on the left side of the road. Meanwhile, the bad wolf spread the sticky honey he stole from the bees on the rock in the middle of the swamp, and began to wait for the rabbits curiously. This will be your last jump, bunnies! Ha 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 ha! The rabbits finally saw that the place they had jumped up to was a swamp, not the side of the carrot. No way! I think we have extended the way to the carrot. Then let's jump off the stones in the swamp and cross over. While the rabbits were jumping over the stones, one of them got stuck to the rock. Oh, I'm stuck to the stone! I can't jump. His friends, who wanted to help the unlucky rabbit, came to him and quickly pulled him from his arm. Thank you, my friends. So the rabbits continued the race. Bad Wolf Jack, whose hands are covered in honey, was attacked by bees while he thought he was going to catch rabbits. Help! Help! He fell into the swamp while running away in fear. Oh, ouch! I'm sinking! Help! The rabbits finally came to a riverbank for the third race. I know swimming very well. Watch how I will be the first. While the rabbits were talking to each other, Jack had another plan. He placed a crispy lettuce just where the rabbits would land. He took a long net in his hand and climbed the tree. While the rabbits are eating lettuce. I'll catch them from here. Ha 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 ha! 
The rabbits quickly started a swimming race. If one got ahead, the other would swim faster and overtake the other one. Finally, all three of them landed at the same time, finishing the race. When the rabbits saw the lettuce right there, they started to eat it with great appetite. Just as the bad wolf was about to catch them from the top of the tree, one of the migrating storks got caught in Jack's net and flew away with him. No! Let me down quick! Ah! The rabbits finally got very close to the big carrot, and they started running towards the carrot for the last time. But Jack, the wolf disguised as a carrot, was waiting for the bunnies at the finish line. This time I will eat you as soon as I open my mouth! While the wolf was waiting for the rabbits with his eyes closed and mouth open, an old farmer approached him with joy when he saw a giant carrot. Whoa! Look at that carrot! It's huge! The farmer didn't even realize that the carrot he was shouldering was actually a wolf disguised as a carrot. Grr! Leave me! I'm not a carrot. I'm the bad wolf. The bad wolf, Jack. At the end of the race, the rabbits reached the finish line at the same time. So all three of them took first place. We all won all the races at the same time. Then the three of us can share the giant carrot. Yes, but where is the carrot? When the rabbits wandered around a bit, they found the real carrot the wolf was hiding. And they all ate well together. Because the important thing is to have good friends with whom you can achieve anything together. We have a letter! Ah, uh, yes. And this letter is for you, my little panda. It has your name on it. This was the baby panda's first ever letter. And he was very, very excited. But in his excitement, he did not even notice the naughty baby wolf listening to them from behind the window. Hmm... I wonder what is written in that letter. Everybody gets letters, but I never do. Oh, great. This is an invitation letter. Guess who's coming to the forest? A balloon cellar bear? No. Hmm, a clown parrot? <laughs> no. An Iceman giraffe. Hooray! 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 Woohoo! So, an Iceman giraffe. You all will see what it means to not invite me. When the sun was shining directly overhead, the baby animals who wanted to eat ice cream gathered near the bamboo trees and were waiting for the Iceman giraffe. But no one came. I'm tired of waiting. When will the Iceman giraffe come? Um, well, it was written here as the place on the invitation, right? Yeah, yeah, we're waiting in the right place, right here. After a while, the Iceman giraffe came to the baby animals sadly. But he didn't have any ice cream cart with him. Sorry to keep you guys waiting, but my ice cream cart got lost. Aww. This morning, I put strawberry, cocoa, and vanilla ice cream in my car and hit the road. I wanted to rest by an apple tree as I was walking by the river. At that time, 
I ate the fragrant red apples on the tree. I was just about to set off again, and guess what I saw? My ice cream cart was gone! I searched, I looked everywhere, but no, no. <laughs> Don't be sad, Iceman Giraffe. We will help you. We will help you find your ice cream cart? Really? They all went to the apple tree to find the lost ice cream cart. At that moment, the naughty wolf, who kidnapped the ice cream cart into his own den, started to eat all the ice creams with appetite. Yum, yum, yum! <laughs> oh, it's all mine! No one but me will be able to eat ice cream! <laughs> the baby panda, who was chasing the ice cream cart, showed his friends the tire tracks on the ground with a magnifying glass in his hand. Here are the ruts of the ice cream cart! This way! Come on! However, the ruts ended when they got to where the tall grass was. Oh, what are we going to do now? Friends, I smell a scent. Do you feel it too? As if... Strawberry, yes. This is the scent of strawberry. Panda and his friends saw a piece of strawberry ice cream smeared on the trunk of the tree. I think we are on the right track. Come on, this way. For a while, everyone successfully followed the strawberry scent. However, when the road led to the swamp, the smell of strawberries has left its place to the smell of mud. Well, we've come this far, but I can't see an ice cream cart around. Ah, it's not an ice cream cart, but the mud-smeared ruts continue here. Yes, moreover, this time, there is not only a wheel, but also a paw print. The baby panda and his friends immediately realized that the mud marks they found belonged to a wolf. So, following the tracks, they came to the wolf's den. The fox said that one of them had to go in and get the ice cream cart. But, but I'm so scared. No, 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 I, I can't. I'm so scared too. I can't. Huh? I can. Panda gathered all his courage and walked towards the wolf's den. Realizing that someone was coming, the naughty baby wolf immediately shouted loudly and tried to scare him. Who is it? Do not come! I set a trap! If you come in, <laughs> I will <laughs> eat you! Panda knew from the wolf's voice that he was very sick. So he fearlessly went up to him and saw that all the ice cream had been eaten. Oh, you are so sick, wolf! <laughs> I'm not sick. All the ice creams were mine, okay? <laughs> Panda barely persuaded the wolf and took him out. The other animals and the giraffe were very surprised to see the wolf so sick. They immediately seated him next to a stone, warmed by the sun. One offered a hot fruit tea, the other a healthy bamboo soup. And the other handed him a long scarf to warm him. If you hadn't stolen the ice cream cart, we'd share the ice creams and have a good time together, naughty wolf. Yes, and you wouldn't be cold and sick on this beautiful summer day. But you weren't going to share your ice cream with me because you didn't send me an invitation letter. <laughs> 
when the baby wolf said that he had not received a letter. The crocodile pointed to the branches of the tree standing in front of him. I think the letter you received got caught in the branches of the tree over there. That's why you haven't seen it. Oh, here, the postman stork always delivers the letters to their owners. Look, it even has your name on it. From that day on, the wolf became a more careful pup and treated his good friends better because he never forgot that the most important thing in forest life is solidarity and friendship. Oh,